Hiya, what's up everyone? Welcome to... <laughs> Hiya, welcome everyone. It's FFEQ 174. Hope you're doing good. I'm here. Pix is here. Look at this dog. Hey, boy, shit, shit. Yo. This is where I answer most of your questions nowadays, okay? FAQ, also in the Sunday Fall, a little bit, but it's just one question of the day, and it's for my members. This is where it all happens, where all the questions get answered, okay? So, we're heading straight into it. What's up? From you, sir, SS... Oh, it's the guy with the silly name uh, that's not really fortunate. Uh, SS2LL9PJ7Y. Uh, fuck, Ola, any plans for solo album 3 in 2023? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's been about two years almost since I released Star Singer. And uh, before that, it was two years be before Master of the Universe. So I guess this year should be time for another solo album. I can for certain say that I'm not going to release a solo album uh, this year in the likes of Star Singer Master of the Universe. However, I am working on something else that's under my name. So there will be an album this year for sure. So, uh, what, 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 hola, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. No, <laughs> you will know in due time, okay? I will let you guys know. I, I promise. You will know. You will see and you will hear when it happens, okay? Calm down. Shit. Good question. <laughs> Daniel Reyes, 2075. Fuck, hello from Brazil. Been watching your videos since the beginning of your times. Lol. Awesome material. Two questions. I know you use Neural DSP plenty. How do you set it to sound so awesome? What drums do you use and how do you EQ it? Uh, thank you so much. Okay, Neural DSP plenty. So the way I've been using the Pliny, uh, it's just that I have a preset that I call Chunky Bites in Face. But uh, ever since I got the Chug Pell, I've been using the Chug Pell into the Pliny when I'm recording shit on my uh, computer. So what that means basically is that I connect my guitar to the Chug, the Chug goes into my audio interface, and then I'm using the, uh, the power amp section of the Pliny plugin. And uh, the cabinet, which is uh, one of my IRs that I'm using, uh, it's uh, from my Mesa oversized cabinet that I have over there that I absolutely love. If you're a YouTube member, you can have this preset. It's, it's in the uh, member download folder. But other than that, there's not really that much magic going on, to be honest. And in terms of drums, nowadays I've been using the Gojira drums a lot. For If you're talking about the Son of With Olas, for instance. And, uh, you know, I like the Gojira drums a lot. And uh, I used them in conjunction with Superior Drummer 3. So I used the, the heads. You know, and with heads, I mean kick, snare, toms of the Gojira plugin. And then I use the overheads and the hi hats and the rides and all the symbols from Superior Drummer 3. And I do that by having two tracks of drums, okay? And I copy tracks and then I just mute the individual parts. So, and then I mix them together and usually it sounds pretty fucking sick. So that's what I use for Sunday with Ola if you were, if, if, if that's what you're asking, okay? Good question. Oh shit, how do you EQ it? Uh, I don't EQ it. That's what's so good with having uh, uh, good uh, drum kits. Stacks bodies. I need a good gaming chair. Any recommendations, Ola? You're asking that like I'm a pro of gaming chairs. Uh, I'm not... I have no idea, man. I can give you a tip of one gaming chair, and that's the one that I'm sitting in <laughs> right now, and that's it. I don't know anyone else, you know? And uh, people think that I'm sponsored by this uh, chair brand, but, you know, this is just... I don't know about this chair, man. People are saying I, sh I should get rid of it. But I'm like, you know what? This is one of the chairs that I bought when I was sitting in my apartment making videos. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an okay chair. But maybe I feel that if I get rid of it, maybe I'll jinx myself. You know, because it's been... This is one of the things that has been following me <laughs> for a long time through my office changes and all. And it's not even a good chair. I remember when I got it, you know, it smelled so bad and made my head hurt. Uh, I had to put it on the balcony for uh, a week for the, you know, the smell to wear off so I can actually use it. It's terrible. But it's, it is a really good chair. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely worn out. Why is it, it's way more worn out on this side. Is it because I sit like this? Probably. But it's a good wide chair. I would look into one of these uh, bigger chairs that, that are called king size. Because then you can fit yourself playing guitar in it. I mean, that's the thing about gaming chairs. You're supposed to have armrests. But the problem with armrests is that if you play guitar, uh, it's kind of shitty. But with these, you can, you know, you can put them up, you can put them down, you can 
angle at the side, you can angle to the front, whatever you want to do. And, uh... I don't, if, is it good? I don't know. Just get a f***ing chair, man. Go to a store. Go to Ikea. Try a chair or two, you know? There's probably something good there. Thank you. David Fall. Hola. What's your favorite leg workout? Asking for a friend. Oh, you sly mother... <laughs> no, that's David Fall. It's handsome legs guy. On Sunday with Ola. My favorite leg workout is the squat. Weighted squat. So I usually have a, a barbell and, you know, weights on it and I do squats. Why? Well, because it's fast. Uh, you know, if you do, do squats without anything, you have to do a shit ton of squats. You have to do so many of them. But if you do it with weights, you know, if I do it with weights, I feel the burn afterwards. My least favorite uh, leg exercise is definitely the lunge. Uh, I just don't like it. But I do it anyways, and it's good for the legs, man. And, you know, uh, I started working out a couple months back again, and I feel it, man. I feel the legs. I'm getting some handsome legs. I'm working really, really hard on my handsome legs. They're not as handsome as I want it to be, but I want it to be at least 10 out of 10, you know, before I show them to you guys, like I would show them to you guys. But, you know, Beach uh, 2026, maybe? Huh? <laughs> now, the reason why I'm working out is actually not because I want to look better. It's more to feel good, actually. You know, when you come to the age of, of uh, you know, 41, you feel that things start to kind of hurt and it sucks. So it's more like I want to feel good, so I work out, if that makes any sense. And then, uh, you know, getting swollen and shit, that's, that's just a bonus. That's what it is. Thank you. Hands and legs, guy. Solar Mel, all of this weed. Will we have a solar double neck anytime soon? Uh, I don't really see the need of a double neck more than it being a gimmick. But uh, do people really want double necks? <sighs> I thought it was a gimmick. Isn't it a gimmick? Maybe it's not a gimmick. Maybe I have to make one. And, uh, but I don't imagine selling m many of them, so maybe I'll do two. You know, just for fun or something. I don't know. Uh, tough decision. Eric Moretton, beside the cross, what's a dime guitar you want to own? Great question. You know, to be completely honest, I'm pretty good at where I'm at right now. You know, I have my uh, my my Bolt right there. I have uh, the the 3ST, and uh, I have my Southern Cross. And I think that was like it. That was the ones that I really really wanted. Fine, a dime slime, a US dime slime would have been nice, but you know, I'm okay. I don't know if you know, but these guitars are really expensive nowadays, and uh, you know, there's a lot. Better things to to waste money on nowadays, but I, no, I'm really happy with the ones that I have, and I, you know, as of right now, and I'm saying as of right now because you never know with me, uh, you know, I'm very very happy with my dime bag guitars, very very happy. You know, the Southern Cross was the deal, man. I needed a Southern Cross. I always wanted a Southern Cross, and for some reason, they are the most one of the most you know wanted uh, guitars out there in the dime bag aspect. I play it sometimes. And I think to myself, I'm very privileged and very happy with, <laughs> with where I am. Very happy about that. Uh, Dime Slime would probably be the next step if I would go for a next step. Okay, great. Dylan Villa, 1996, uh, 1999. Ola, what is your opinion on Epiphone guitars and Thrash Mel? Do you think Epiphones are underrated? Yes, since I tried a couple of Epiphone guitars, Nowadays, at least, not back in the day, because I tried one back in the day, or tried a couple back in the day, they, they suck absolute balls. I, I'm just gonna be clear. Back in the day, maybe 20, 25 years ago, Epiphone guitars were shit. But now, as I've been trying out some Prophecy guitars, which are, you know, not necessarily their cheap models, they're, they're pretty expensive for being Epiphone, but I've tried those, and I think they are excellently built guitars. I think Gibson are doing a really good job on the Epiphone front right now, and uh, maybe they need to better themselves on the Gibson front a little bit, okay? That's... that's fair, right? Joni Hunter, 6975. What's the... N n what's the one non-guitar related thing you have to take with you every time you tour? What's the non-guitar related thing that I bring with me? I think it's probably gonna be uh, a computer with, uh, uh, with a PlayStation controller. Like, for instance, I bring this. All the time, this is like my go-to computer, uh, which I bring everywhere, and I work on this. I can also play a little bit of games on these, so uh, I bring a PlayStation controller, and I can sit and play uh, games. I mean, not all the games that I can on my PC, but some games I can play. And uh, that's the thing on tour, you need to uh, kind of waste time 
on tour sometimes. And the, the funny thing with touring is that you really hurry up and you have very little time and you like race to uh, get to the airport and to, to get to the plane and get on the flight and then you have to wait. And then when you arrive at your destination, you have to rush again, go on a bus and then, you know, you drive to a place, uh, really rushed to the venue and then you wait again. <laughs> and then you sound check and everything's really stressed out and blah 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 and after sound check you wait so it's really like hurry up and wait it, it's such a it, it fits so well into the touring aspect you have so little time but you also have a lot of time so during those hours where there's a lot of time I try to play video games or answer emails and work and shit like that so that's what I would bring probably just a PlayStation controller so I can connect it to my computer and play I can even connect it to my iPhone and play Sonic, you know? it works really well Bohemoth what is your division of time between tracking and editing? when I record, I don't really do too technical of music so uh, editing is not really a big thing for me I usually don't write stuff that are very difficult for me I kind of keep in... Uh, I keep it in my comfort zone in that sense so I, I always track my shit however, the editing aspect of it is that I usually copy paste parts so like, okay, it's more of the arranging aspect of arranging a song like, okay that's something I sit a lot with, just sitting and moving parts around in, in uh, you know, see how it would work like, okay, if I have a bridge here or I have a bridge here, should it be coming another verse or another chorus? I, I sit and, and move stuff around a lot until I, you know, think like, okay, this is probably how it's going to end up That's so important, just the arrangement of a song and where the riff goes and where the solos go That's so important, way more important than the actual riff So, I don't really spend time editing uh, in that sense, it's a lot of tracking but it's a lot of arranging in my opinion also, even with solos like, if I uh, try and write a solos which I have explained is a very tedious process for me just to quickly explain how I write solos is that I usually slow down the track to be able to comprehend in my mind because I'm a little slow in my brain when it comes to you know, translating what I want to the guitar but a really neat trick is that I can slow down the track and then I can, you know, uh, jam while you know, the track is going slow and then I can learn it later and play it up to real speed but that's a really good way of uh, me coming up with ideas for solos uh, Division of time between tracking and editing I would say editing is very small tracking is a lot higher but arranging is about half and half with tracking I would say Good question, man! I, I enjoy that Bobby Joe, this sounds like a stupid question but are you in a band? <laughs> uh, you would think as I sit here and talk about uh, shit all day that I'm actually not in a band but yes, I am actually in a band uh, They're called The Haunted uh, They're way more active on the touring aspect Then I have Feared which is my, you know, uh, pride and joy uh, with Mario uh, We don't tour, we played shows but you know, it's... It, it's not... A I wouldn't say it's a real band because we have session musicians uh, recording the shit for the albums but eventually maybe we'll do something if I feel nostalgic enough maybe we'll go out on tour uh, Old England is not a band, that's just me but we release albums anyways We, uh, we, Old England, we <laughs> But uh, The Haunted, I, 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 The Haunted is a real band, I guess So there you go Oh shit, and that was it for FAQ A little shorter this time, that's okay I mean, we are very, very busy people, right? No? Okay. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section of this video and I might feature in the next FAQ. If you want to support what I'm doing here, uh, we, Ola England, <laughs> uh, you can buy a t shirt from us uh, from olaenglandshop.com or buy an album. You know, it really supports us directly. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You've been a nice dog. You, you, you're so cute. You just. He's just been laying here the whole time. No business at all. Like, no funny business. No. Hey. Maybe it's time for funny business. Huh? Huh? Lila Hunden? Hey. No, I'm just. So, I'll see you in the next one.